Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Some Letter. So guys, I want to say before we get started with this video, I have started a new YouTube channel. It's only ATS. All videos now, will, there will be some videos going on the regular channel too. But, and also I have a secondary channel that I put stuff on it once in a while. But this one here, uh, this channel is going to be ATS only uh, videos. If I feel that I want to put it over there instead of on the regular channel, it will go there instead. Uh, so today, guys, yeah, we'll be doing another mod review on this on the Western Star 5700 uh, Legendary Sleeper model. Um, I got some mixed reviews about it already, guys. I, I really do. Um, the engines in this truck, they have no sound except for the cat engines. It's the only one that has sound. It has no sound in the cab. Let me check the uh, just to make sure that I don't have the engine sound the sound down for the interior maybe that's what's wrong the interior i'll turn this up just a little bit to see if maybe that'll help the interior sound just a little bit to see if that may be the issue with that uh it has uh the 444 Cummins, it has no sound. It has Detroit Diesel. None of the Detroit Diesels has any sound. The only engines that come with it has um, sound are the Cat E 340Es. Um, it's all one that has sound. It has no GPS system. No option for a GPS. Uh, here's the cat, uh, the legendary. I don't really call that a legendary sleeper, but looks pretty good I mean the truck itself looks great the model looks good uh, it's very it's very well done uh, it looks really good as far as the graphic and everything but now it, you drive safe, okay? it does need some help some fixing you see it has no interior sounds at all here's the outside look again so we got 121 miles. We're hauling some empty pallets today. Just want to get in and do a video of this truck and what I think about it. And I'll show you some of the options on it. We get done this run. Um, yeah, I, I do like the interior. I like the color. I like the inside. I don't really call that a legendary sleeper, but I mean, you know, each his own. Um, I don't even know if it has. Okay, it does have roll down windows. But let's go on road. And normally you you wouldn't see a cat engine like a 340E in a truck like this. I would think most of these trucks, I'm not sure, but I would think most of these trucks would run Detroit Diesels, maybe a few Cummins, but that was actually the only engine that I had that worked with sound was the for this truck. So turn left. Now there are other ones out there that has been released. Now I got this one off of modsites.com. like a glare like a film light look too on the windshield you guys may not see that but I can see it ahead and get our thumbnail and I'll go over the some of the, the options with the truck just in case anyone does want it right right now I can say for my opinion um, I would not recommend it right now 
hoping the modder that made it can get in and update it and fix some of the little small issues with it. Um, the biggest issue is going to be your engine sounds. We can get it up speed here. Yeah, it, it has a very like a like a glare in the windshield. I'm no if you go on the outside view, I don't see that glare. Like I'm seeing through the windshield of the truck. Kinda like there's like a film. Still well, thank you for everyone that's been subscribed to the channel. I would love, I would love to get a hundred subscribers over here. Uh, and I, and I do apologize for the stream Friday night. I don't know what's going on with uh, ATS and YouTube. They're not working together for some reason. This is like, that's like two streams that I've tried to do, and YouTube has done that has stopped it for some reason. Now this video will be uploaded on both channels. Um, I may actually put it on my secondary because I do have some subscribers over there. They did subscribe to that channel. So I may actually put it over there too. If you have not heard, the rumor is that the Western Star 5700 will be the next truck coming from SCS. Has not been confirmed, but we believe that is the case. We get it back up to speed here. I 
And before we end this video, I'm going to show you the difference of these windshields. I'm going to switch back over to a SCS truck. And I'll show you the difference in the windshield and what I'm seeing. And then you're probably seeing it too. We don't have to stop, we can keep rolling. Just kind of being quiet today. Enjoying the, the ride. Yeah, I know. We're almost there. They got the. Well, we're going through it. Turn right. Excuse me. We're in a hurry. Hey guys, this is something I only do when I'm recording. I don't do this when I'm just playing. Lost the load. Keep right and then exit right. Exit right. Get ready to turn right. Should have fixed that mirror over there. Go straight on. That's right.
we'll have fun getting in here. I don't know why we're hauling a Walmart trailer here, but okay. See what they want it. They want right over that corner. Yeah, they want it right there. Hitting the pole. Let's pull up some more. Do I turn it? I can't see nothing out of that mirror. See if we can fix that mirror real quick. We still may be a little bit off here from this pole. Yep, we hit that pole again. All right, let me see if we just pull this way. We're doing bad today. I'm gonna turn it a little sharp like this right here. If we get it straightened up enough, we can pull up right here. Like this right here. There we go.
So we drove extra. We drove 122 miles. It took us three hours, 45 minutes to get here. We consumed 16, 16.8 gallons of fuel. We hit continue. So, as far as the truck on the outside, the truck looks really good on the outside. I, I love the look of it. Uh, they done a really good job on the outside, but it, it does need some work. It needs um, more engine sounds for sure. Uh, it, and it's not an open, a full open uh, legendary sleeper either. So, let's go. I said I would show you the options, and I will. Go into Western Star. Mod uh, dealership here. Western Star 5700 XE has a day cab option. It has um, a low end sleeper, which means you can make it a regular Western Star like that. That's a, a high end sleeper. Uh, that's a 68 inch high end sleeper. This is an 82 inch high end sleeper. And your legendary, which is right like this, you have four chassis options. One, two, three, four. Engines, you have um, Detroit diesels from 440 horsepower all the way to the, the Cummins IXX 600 horsepower. Now, none of these engines here work. Now, the Cat, the Cat uh, 340. 346E550 is one we would use. It did work for our sound. None of these here had any sound for the truck. The cat engines did. The Cummins, no, this did not have no sound. None of these had sound. Uh, it has uh, 10-speed transmissions all the way down to Eaton Fuller, 18-speed. Two interiors. None of it had a GPS, as you see. It has paint jobs, quite a few different paint jobs. All that works really good. That actually looks good with the uh, talent like that. Uh, here's your options. You can change the grill. It has quite a few options that you can do to the truck. Um, it needs an option too that uh, opens this cab up because this whole cab is not open like you see on a lot of these legendary trucks like this so we're gonna go swap trucks back to our 389 And see, you can see a lot better clearly in this truck than what you would see in out of the cab of that truck. And you have all your sounds and stuff, so. Alright, so the guy that's going to be it for today's video. I want to get in here and show off the, the uh, Western Star 5700 Legendary Edition truck. Uh, my thoughts on the truck is it, it does need some work. It definitely needs more engine sounds. If they would fix the engine sounds at least. And maybe add a GPS to the truck, it wouldn't be bad. Uh, as far as the look of the truck, it looks great. It's a good looking truck. Uh, the outside, uh, they done a really good job of the outside look on it. 
Uh, there are some more legendaries out there. Uh, some different models. If you want to see a different model, let me know. Uh, I could definitely run one. Uh, but yeah, that that's actually my thoughts on that. Is it does need some work. It's not a you know, it's not a, a no dealer. I mean, you can still use it if you if you if you wanted to. No one's saying you can't. It's just it it does need or it has no cab sound. You know, no sounds on inside the cab. Uh, none of that worked in it. So. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for well, been subscribing. And uh, have a good day.